Hello and welcome to another No Man's Sky video. Uh, today we're gonna have a look at something cool that I just got working. Um, yeah, uh, so let's have a look. I have got this working. And, 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 and this working. Yeah, I got my, I got my hotas working, which is awesome actually. Um, so let's, let's go ahead and and demo it and show you that it works so yeah we're gonna get into my ship I am aware that this <laughs> is still the starting ship but whatever okay so we're in the ship so here's my, here's my throttle and this is gonna be picture in picture so you'll be able to see both so I go and I hit the throttle wow fail <laughs> wow, that was. Couldn't have timed that better myself. I'm also. Fuck, this is this is not good. Uh, let's see if I can get a launch. And go. God damn it. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, so I've refueled my launch thrusters now, so this should actually work. Alright, let's try this again. And forward. And up we go, like a dream. So yeah, so yeah, now so the throttle works, you pull back and it pulls it down to well as slow as you can go and push forward and speeds back up again. I've got this little button here, I've got that to my boost. Which is great. Now over here we got the actual joystick itself. We've got the um, the pitch for up and down, um, and this is where things get a little tricky. I'm going to explain this probably either later on this video or in another video. I have a roll on that axis, and then you're on the on the um, uh, twist. So yeah, it, it seems to work pretty well. Um, but yeah, alright, let's go up into space. Uh, hit the button. And we're out into space. So as you would expect, the um... Uh, you know, trigger to shoot stuff. All that sort of fun stuff. And yeah, so... And then this is another tricky part. I managed to get the pulse drive to activate on this top button here. Now, you'd think that wouldn't be too big of an issue, except that um, the way that the the, uh, the, the the way that I've got this working is it's using um, emulation and I'll just show you how that's working now here we go uh, so x36 this emulation software so what's this doing as you can see it's moving so it's activating the bumpers and then you know so what's this doing is it's just it's taking the inputs from the joystick and transferring it to a 360 emulation, a 360 pad emulation. That way that the game just sees a 360 pad and says, yep, that's supported and we'll use that. So it adds these files you can see here to the game folder. Um, and then yeah, after that everything works. All right, so to get this working yourself, you need to go to this website here, uh, download the 64-bit version of it. Um, it'll give you uh, this file here. Go ahead and open that up. So you have this file here. So go to your binaries folder. So your Steam library, Steam apps, common No Man's Sky binaries. And just uh, drag the folder to here. It'll be this one here. So go ahead and open that up. And it'll co uh, come up with here. Yeah, Plug your joystick or whatever in and it'll ask you to download settings or whatever for it. Just 
go ahead and hit yes. Um, and if you have a Satek X X52, which is what I'm using, it pretty much popped all this in automatically. Um, but I, if, if not, you just go and set this up by yourself. Um, so just to run through what I got. So the trigger is the um, X3. The bumper is um, IH axis one, which is inverted um, axis one. So you go to axis, inverted half, axis one. Um, so that gets that gives you rolling on the left and right movement of the joystick. Um, same thing on the other side. So uh, except it's inverted half axis three and half axis one. So Y button is button two. X button 5, B button 7, A button 1. Um, so if you're familiar with the controls on No Man's Sky on a gamepad, you'll know what they all do. Um, so then on the stick left axis, or axis X, uh, that's forward and back. So, oh no, axis Y, sorry, it's forward and back. So that's axis 2. Now, um, axis X, which is left and right yaw, that goes on ax that, that that uses axis six, which is twisting on the on the um, joystick. So uh, D pad down, which is to open the galaxy map. That's on uh, button three. That opens the galaxy map, and then here. So I have the D pad, the main D pad on the top. Um, well, just you know, just, uh, just above where your thumb is um, for look controls. And you just have to make sure you go ahead to where it says D-pad and go to empty. So otherwise, it'll activate the D-pad and the left stick at the same time. If we move along to access to button, I've set the left and right bumper to 40%. So I have to move the thing 40% before it actually activates. Um, I felt that I that felt good to me. Um, because the problem with um, you know, the roll being on left and right bumper is that it's on off. There's no gradual movement. Um, it takes a little bit to get used to, but I think that's better than having it on the twist. Um, but then that's my preference because I play Elite a lot, so yeah. Um, this is also something interesting. I so uh, vertical axis on the you know uh, Y vertical axis that's forward and back on the joystick. I um, increase that. You go ahead invert so it makes it more sensitive towards the center because I felt it was a little shall we say lazy uh, I'm trying to do it it you have to really move it to actually get it to do stuff so I increase that and yeah that, that, that that's pretty much it that'll get that'll get it working so you hit save so that'll generate all these extra files uh, now um, this file here X input 9-1-0 will be something else I'm not quite sure what that something else will be but you need to rename it to 9-1-0 to get that to work. Um, then restart the game. Make sure you don't have any other game pads or anything plugged in. Otherwise, it'll like because I have my Xbox One controller plugged in, it'll default straight to that. So make sure that's unplugged. And um, yeah, go ahead and start the game. All right, so we are back in the game. And as you can see, it should all be working for you. So yeah, so that's how to get uh, joysticks to work in No Man's Sky. It's not perfect uh, by any stretch of the imagination. So like when I go to roll, it's literally you get the 40% on the joystick and um, it just activates. There's no sort of gradual roll into things. Oh, there's one more thing. Okay, um, pulse drive. So as I said, I mapped it to the top button on my throttle. So I hit that and it launches in the pulse drive. Okay, so the reason that was tricky, was leave pulse drive. The reason that was tricky is because on the controller, you need to hit left and right bumper at the same time. Now obviously you can't do that with the joystick because it's, you know, you push it left or push it right. So what you need to do is install your uh, joysticks profiler uh, editor. Uh, for this, it's the, just the SciTech, uh, the SciTech software. So open up your profile editor and go away. 
get a programming or equivalent. So here, uh, button E, you need to set that to space, which is the keyboard button for pulse jump. That way, you hit that button, it just sends uh, the space command to the game and initiates pulse jump. So that's that's that, that's the last bit. All right, so yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoy using your joystick with No Man's Sky. It actually feels really good, even though it's got those limitations of the rolling and whatnot. It actually feels really good. And all I can hope is that the developers end up supporting it nat uh, natively instead of having to use an emulator because that would just be fantastic. So yeah, well, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you got a lot out of it. Um, I know I was really disappointed when I let up the game yesterday. I was like, yeah, there's no joystick support. So yeah, I um, hope you found this video useful. And um, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. All right, bye.